I work in diamonds, working in the goldsmith industry, uh, creating, I've created pieces of jewelry for Van Gogh, Pals, Kaczynski's, even the Sultan of Brunei. Um, and I was introduced to Alexander McQueen six years ago, and we built a friendship and we started working together, producing small pieces in the beginning, uh, like silver buttons, things like that. And then it just developed and developed, breaking in all boundaries. said do you think we could take it to the body could we go body size I said you must be joking it was very time consuming because each coil had to be made one by one fitted exactly to this this replica of the girl and it took like a 16 hour day just to make eight coils and there was about 90 coils in all. Um, it actually is uh, a comfortable piece to wear. I mean, when any model sees it, it looks quite frightening, it looks quite restricted, it looks like a frightening piece of armour. Um, the girls are very, they're like, oh, I can't put that on, I'm not gonna. But when they actually get it on, they're very pleasantly surprised how comfortable the piece is. The idea behind the rose corset was to give an image that a girl had roses growing from out, from inside of her, growing out from inside. Because the whole show was based on English rose and the, an English countryside and the innocence of a young English girl. Um, Alexander came to me with an old Turkish gemmed belt, an antique belt, and showed me the belt and said, um, could you make me something like this all over? And that's kind of where it came from. And then I just went away, created all these little square pieces, linked them all up and created a jeweled body piece basically, which she saw about two days before the show. The concept from this idea came from a show called Ishu that McQueen did and it was the theme for that story was about a Russian princess who was stranded on a desert island and basically the story was of survival. Then I designed this mouthpiece which shocked quite a lot of people. To other people it was a very vulgar looking thing and it dismantled the girl's face, but that's not what it was about. It was about the fierceness of survival and its doggy dog kind of situation. It's about getting a reaction from the audience too. They're like, even when we were in the V&A at Fashion in Motion, I was amongst the crowd. I even heard people saying, how does she get into that? And that to me it, it is, it's an achievement.